The Justice Minister's announcement earlier today signaled the fact, and he made it quite clear during the press conference, that he was using the law, there was no emotion involved, and he was sticking to the Constitution. When it came to Clive Darby Lewis, he had a different position. What is before me is a medical report of somebody else who happens to be an existing person who received treatment, similar treatment, at the same time as Mr. Darby Lewis was in that hospital. Um, and it's not clear to me, and, uh, and according to him, that person then had to change his own name to another pseudonym or something of that nature. It's all very murky. The Eugene de Kock release has been received with some amount of uh, satisfaction by certain quarters. Of, of course we'd, we'd be satisfied, we're happy, we might even be elated, but with consideration for uh, the families or the victims of the past to whom this might be a very sensitive day and uh, emotional day even. So it's, it's, um, we, we, we'll, be, we'll celebrate responsibly. I think it's never really a positive thing when we let people out of jail if all due process have been followed in the, in the judicial system, um, if we let them out before the time that we had said they should be in prison for. Um, and so I think it, it, you know, it is, it is a, quite a sad day that we see that people are coming out of prison before time. The Justice Minister made mention of reconciliation and nation building in announcing the release of the cock, something that has been disputed. You know, we've been hearing this whole narrative around, you know, this is good for nation building, it's good for reconciliation. And I think we need to also look back that many people feel quite shortchanged by our, you know, our TRC process that we had. And so when we see these sort of things happen, I think it does not aid nation building and reconciliation in any way. The announcement by the Justice Minister has received mixed reactions. Essentially, it's a one out of three for differing reasons. We'll wait and see what happens with the Clive Darby Lewis case, but it seems that there's more to this than meets the eye. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Pretoria.